music was his life, even from birth. His mother went into labor at a Cuban dance club. And over the next few decades, Ibrahim Ferrer and friends made music that won fame long before anyone, even in Cuba, had ever heard of Fidel Castro. Ferrer performed from the time he was a teenager until well into the 1980s, before retiring. But as a popular documentary explained, he was plucked from obscurity years later, from a job shining shoes, no less, by American music producer Ry Cooter. He is so generous and open-hearted so that he can give everything he has in his singing and in his musical expression. As a member of the Buena Vista Social Club, the music Ferrer and several old pals produced was an instant hit and the basis for that documentary. There were lucrative tours in this country, including this stop in Chicago, new albums, and even Grammys, all of it coming with Ferrer in his 70s. But the winning streak came to a sudden end last year when the Bush administration, after tightening visa restrictions on Cuban artists, refused to give him a U.S. visa. Ferrer was incredulous. I'm not a terrorist, he said at the time. I could never be one. Still, it could not overshadow the highlight of his life, the thrill of being rediscovered at a ripe old age by new generations of music lovers. For me, he said, that's what matters.